Hello everyone, this is Rodolfo Bonin. I am the creator of the Open Pipes project and this video is uh, created in order to uh, help you to understand how the uh, the rocker um, stop uh, controller is connected and, and built. And first of all, you have this, this is a controller. Uh, it uh, has the ability to control uh, up to 16 buttons per uh, connector. And it also commands the RGB lights uh, it, it it can control a high number of them, but in this case we have uh, eight per module. So uh, this is this is the, the the raw module. You have to solder some headers over here. I hope in the future to build it uh, completely without uh, soldering needs. And uh, I won't uh, dig into details of the controller, but. Um, as you can see over here, uh, it accepts an Arduino Pro Micro, uh, uh, which is the, the main controller. You solder it into the headers or directly, and uh, it uh, functions as a U USB uh, MIDI controller. So this goes directly to the computer or whatever you are wa waiting to to control. Okay, this is from the, the part of the controller. Then, um, in order to connect the controller with the uh, button module, you have to use a, a flat cable. Uh, this is a standard 10 uh, cable controller. So I I go from uh, I'm using the number one and number two, and th these are the controllers of the two uh, modules. Sorry about, <laughs> it's not so tidy, but it works. So on the other side of the uh, wood, I have my, my modules. So I will turn this around and voila. Here you have the, uh, the controllers. So this base is 3D printed, so you can find the STLs uh, over the site and I have screwed the uh, the board and the uh, base it's it's really tidy it, it doesn't move at all so I have this in place so uh, you can uh, operate everything just from here so you have the on and off for each register using the, the code, which is also in GitHub. And, uh, uh, okay, for the remaining part, we have uh, other couple of uh, um, elements. This is the uh, rocking mechanism. This is a mechanism uh, used to uh, be able to uh, have the, the keys in place, not moving, you know and uh, just moving in the intended way. Um, let me see if I have a void one, just a moment. Okay. This one, this is the, the 3D printed part, which will be um, uploaded soon. So uh, the, the idea is to you get the old the uh, the buttons and they are clicking over here and they are ready. You can use a little bit of, of glue and uh, in the future they will probably clip much, uh, much more tighter so you won't need any glue but maybe uh, like a little drop of, of glue could do. Then uh, you you, uh, you screw all the, 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 the uh, the boards have little holes over here in the same place as this component so you just screw this over the board or maybe like a drop of glue over there if you don't have the right uh, elements and 
after that you will get this setup uh, it's not complete but you you can get the idea so over here you get this and then you you just put the the cover i put some some good laminate over the printed part to make it prettier so you go this way and the module is ready to be operated and this moves a little bit because i haven't screwed the components over there but after they are screwed they are really tidy and it feels uh, pretty uh, like uh, the real product so this is for the uh, assembling of the rocker materials i will be producing more uh, videos in the future thanks for your attention and more information at openpipes.org